to an end user that's not educated on glass, when you look at a building, you think that's all vision glass going straight up. You want to hide floor slabs, wiring, uh, insulation. You can use other products, but like a metal panel um, or wood, but that's going to be to accent the building and accent the vision glass. If you want to have that harmonized fluid look for the facade, that's when you look at a spandrel application and you try and match the same Lowy coating in the vision or the same Lowy coating and tinted substrate so the end user looks at a very monolithic, uniform look on the aesthetic. For spandrel applications, there's three choices. There's a ceramic frit, there's a silicone opacification, and there's also a Guardian Deco HT. The first one that's most commonly used and has been historically used the most is called ceramic frit, and that's where we take pigment and we mix it with powdered glass. Then the glass goes into an oven, and that powdered glass is heated up. We spray it with air, and it hardens, making ceramic frit very durable onto the surface. When you do that though, in turn you add striations, and when that um, paint starts to dry, sometimes you'll get pinholes and it'll pop. Now the next option that's out there is called the silicone opacification. The difference is the silicone opacifier has more vibrant colors, so you can get your yellows, your reds. The downside is, since it's a rubberized backing, it can peel off and usually when it goes from transit from the manufacturer, it can be nicked and touched up. So typically, your spandrel is going into a non-vision area. Now the third product that's out there is a Guardian Deco HT. And that's actually taking the glass and back painting it and then heat treating or tempering that product into the glass so it's permanently bonded to the glass. Now what separates uh, Spandrel Deco HT is this uniform aesthetic. So you're not going to have the striations, you're not going to have the pinholes. So if you have any application that's going to be into a vision area, you're going to be able to see that backside. This is going to hold up to the integrity of the glass. The product is very durable and you have a little bit more of a uniform aesthetic. When choosing spandrel for a building, you want to look at the colors. We can pair up different colors with different coatings and we'll get a different aesthetic. So we can either accent the building and make the product and the spandrel come to life, or we can use a certain color and really harmonize and minimize the distinction between the vision of spandrel. Typically, what I see is using a warm gray or a medium gray type of spandrel color. Those harmonize a little bit better. It um, matches nicely with the Lowy coatings. Then there's instances where we we have um, low E-coated products that are very low on reflectivity, and in those instances, you're really not going to be able to hide a spandrel application. So if you're going to go with more of a white spandrel, that's really going to contrast. You're going to design that intent into the building. And then it also depends on the application. So if you have a high rise that has, in the vision area, very deep inset spaces, then we may look at a black spandrel in that area. It kind of replicates a deep, dark space. So when you have spandrel questions, I would contact the architectural design manager in your region. We can take and choose the right spandrel application for your building and take that rendering and really make your building come to life.